Earlier this month, barely um, three kilometres from where we're sitting tonight, a young Tamil refugee named Leo committed suicide by setting himself on fire. He was terrified about being sent back to his homeland and the fate that awaited him when he got back to Sri Lanka. My 13-year-old and 10-year-old sons asked me, how could a, a young guy like that be driven to commit such a horrific and devastating act? And I really struggled to have any sort of remotely satisfactory answer. So I'm interested to know from the politicians on the panel, what do you think are the lessons that we as a nation, not as parents, but as a nation are teaching our kids about things like compassion, about being caring for victimised and marginalised people, and also about being a good global citizen, given that both the major parties have very similar asylum seeker policies. I'll, I'll start then outside. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We need to hear the answer now. I'm going to start outside the major parties. I'll go to Richard Di Natale first. Uh, well, we're teaching our young kids to harden their hearts and to turn their back on people in need. That's what we're teaching our young kids to do. I mean, that was a tragedy. You've got a young man here who was driven to take his own life. Um, and one of the great things about that story um, that fills me with some optimism is that after that happened, um, this man decided to donate his organs. And there are now people in Australia who are walking around with a new set of kidneys and lungs and people who can now see because he became an organ donor. And there are, if there's ever a clear example of the sort of contribution that these people want to make to this country, they're coming to us because they are in fear of their lives. They're coming to, to us because they need our help. And we're turning our backs on them. And all they want to do is make a contribution, just like the many people in this room make to this great country. Um, when I think about the fact that we're locking up young kids, like my kids, in jails offshore, when I think about young women who are pregnant in detention who can't get access to decent medical care, when I think about all of those things, um, look, it just fills me with great sadness. And I think we've got to take a step back. We've got to recognise that there is never ever a reason to lock up young kids, to deprive them of hope and to drive people, because we've deprived them of all hope, to take their own lives. There's never a reason to do it. Um, it's a really difficult uh, policy area, but what we're doing is wrong. It's wrong. We're hurting people. We should recognise that being able to offer people protection, that's a sign of strength. It's not a sign of weakness. Uh, and we've really... I'm not ready to wrap up. Yeah. I, I just urge both the major parties, we have to change what we're doing. We can't keep hurting people in the way that we're hurting them. We've got to recognise that we went into some of these countries, like Iraq and Afghanistan, because we thought those regimes were so brutal that we sacrificed Australian lives to get rid of them. And they're fleeing those conditions, the very conditions that we thought we should sacrifice Australian lives over. Okay, all right.